What is good, y'all? SGG Game Man back right now with yet another Saints reveal. Now, today is very special. And you notice I said SGG. Yeah, y'all, this is it. It's the last episode, the last gaming video that will go up on Sean Too Smooth, man. All gaming videos from this point forward will be uploaded on my gaming channel, Smooth Got Games. So if you aren't already, make sure you guys head over there, subscribe, like, comment, leave feedback down below. Let me know that you guys head over there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video, man. I know it's been a while, at least for me, playing it. Now for you guys, obviously it's been a while since Santa Smooth seen it. If you're on SGG, you know you've been catching up basically for a good minute. So you've been seeing three, two videos of this stuff a day, catching back up daily. Um, now it'll kind of slow down a little bit as we have other videos and series that are going up on the channel. But we're going to finish it out this season, man. So three and two on the year. We got the Bengals on tap, but if you guys remember last time out, D'Angelo still does have a breakout player chance. So we definitely want to get into this game to see if he's able to get it in a great past star development for the first time here today, which I think he deserves it for sure. Uh, he's definitely been one of our best players, one of our more secure pass catchers. And I think if anybody were to deserve to get an upgrade, it would definitely be him. So I like where the strategies are at this week. Let's go ahead and go for... Two touchdowns shouldn't be that hard to do even when running the ball. Let's go sack their quarterback. Let's get me 150 rushing yards and let's go try to get 15 first downs. I like it. So offense is clear of injuries. Defense, it looks like uh, Jabari Ogletree will be hurt with a hit corner injury. But I mean, thank goodness he is just a backup. So that shouldn't have any impact on the actual game. And I think we do have actually somebody returning from injury as well. Cam Maddox should be good this week. He is. Uh, so that'll be a big boost back to our offensive line, helping the run game back out. And you saw this team was terrible at run, def uh, run defense. 30th overall when it comes to that category. I think if you look down here, let's see where they at. This says 29th and, oh wait, no, really good defense. There you go. 30th in defensive pack, uh, rushing yards this year. So slightly worse than our own, but we definitely got to go ahead and turn up on that run game, which has been kind of lax for us. We've been relied on the pass all season, but today, we're going to look to rely on Alvin Kamara and his legs, as well as throw that thing up to D'Angelo Steele. Hopefully, he's able to get his goal. A couple upgrades here. We got Deontay Harris. Let's go ahead and give him a slot upgrade. Keep him rolling in his slot receiver role, or I should say backup slot receiver role. Jarius Route, who's become very, very important to our offense. Let's go ahead and get that run stop rope. If you're going to be on the field, you got to be good at something. Plus one block shed, Danny Perriman as well. What are you? 5'10", I'm 22 years old. All the route running is pretty low, but yeah, we'll go short uh, slot route running here. Plus three short, plus one medium. That's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted some uh, some route running, honestly. And then Cam, let's go ahead and work on your agility. That is what the position he's calls for. Uh, so let's work on that, get that a little bit better and keep growing him to be a great offensive lineman. And why not go ahead and start the day out on defense, at least watch one defensive drive. We'll probably focus mostly on the offense here today. Throw goes out and that's an easy stop. Come on, let me get that. There we go. Good work defense. We're not going to let them destroy us. Joe Burrow obviously going to sling that rock, uh, but we really got to stop Joe Mixon. Their run game is actually pretty good here. It's a handoff up the middle. Get stuffed. For a game of two, shocking. I thought that was at the line of scrimmage. Come on, y'all. Three and out to start the game off quick, though. Drop back, quick pass out to the tight end. He's got his superstar X Factor tight end, I should say. Hmm, Hitchens, so I mean, I, that name don't software, really. they probably drafted him, so they drafted pretty well, then they go ahead and get a superstar X Factor. All right, I'm surprised D'Angelo Steele isn't one just yet, and we're only getting the upgrade boost today to get him to superstar, so I think he should be an X Factor. I feel like he's played his ball, or he's balled out. Handoff, mixing up the middle, Jerry's right with the tackle. Here we go, dropping back, throw goes, ah, there it goes, man. You gotta have your eyes on full alert. That could have been an easy pick, but instead he had his eyes focused on his receiver and it's a slant route right to T. Higgins right behind him. His Bengals offense is actually driving pretty well. Running the ball, passing the ball, handoff again, Joe Mixon going up the middle, good stop. Good stop, D-line, I need more of those. Drop back, Burrow looking. Pressure. Ah, it's kind of getting this guy. Ah, it almost got there. Injury going out to Cleveland there, probably on the offensive line. But we almost were able to get there with some pressure, though. Honestly, I've seen the pressure struggle all season. We need to see better push up front. There's a penalty down. 
Hopefully that's holding. It'll back him up a little bit farther. We'll decline it, get him on a fourth and four, just have to give him three. But now Reggie Holt is down with an injury, so there goes the pass rush. And now what we came here for today, some offense. Now, I know we're going to run the ball quite a bit, but hopefully we see D'Angelo still go off as well. Hand off here to Alvin Kamara. As he... That's how you come back in the game, Cam. Getting your feet in the way of the run. Second and 11 to start off. Drop back throw. Goes out to the second slant window. That is Cole Stewart with a great catch for the first down. Michael Thomas looked like he was in on the slot that time. Maybe a little bit of a switch there. Get Cole Stewart some outside work with that great speed that he does have. There goes D'Angelo Steele. First catch of the day. Trucking his way forward for about a gain of nine. 12 for 97 in a touchdown last game. Wow, 12 receptions? Sheesh. With 12 receptions and not getting 100 yards, that means he was all check downs. We want to see him get down the field, though. Second and two here, handoff, and nowhere to go. That completely got closed up both Tackles basically gave in that squeeze pressure. Drop back. Throw goes out quick. There's Cole Stewart again. Mr. Sure Hands. He's catching and holding on to the rock this year. He's actually had a great season as well. I like the pass formation here. Let's, let's get this ball downfield. The run's not really working. It's not really working. How is this team 30th in run defense? Somebody let me know. They've held our run in check. <laughs> so I don't know how they're 30th. Maybe our run game is really going backwards. Throw goes out. Michael Thomas on the quick little slant play. Nice little pick pattern there with him and Alvin Kamara. This time it didn't get knocked away. We were able to get a first. Ooh, another first down run. Alvin Kamara, this time plenty of running room, and he will drag his way forward for the first down. Finally actually see one broke a little bit. I like it. Let's open up the run lane. I mean, that, they do say, you know, don't give up on it. It'll open up eventually. But it's just hard when every other run was negative. First and 10, though, after Alvin Kamara gets enough for the first, he looked kind of tired. And we look to get Lamar Crawlers in soon to give him a break. Drop back throw, D'Angelo Steele with the catch. Oh, no. That's Calvin Edwards with the catch this time. We must. Oh, we said D'Angelo Steele deep. Second and one. Getting closer. We're in the red zone. Throw goes out. Calvin Edwards once again. Now he's taking over for the short stuff. We got a lot of big bodies that are just like able to catch and hold on. And I really feel like that's, that's our receivers, man. Even though they're not physical archetypes, they're physical receivers. They catch the ball, hold on to it, take hits, pause, and they do what I need them to. So second and goal, 10 seconds left in the first quarter. So this will probably be the last play before we go to the second. It's going to be a touchdown for Lamar Crothers. Yes, sir. Reaching across behind the back of Cam. And that is his 20th career rushing touchdown. As that boy, Evan Kamara must have got a little tired. What is that? Like I said, we're focusing mostly on offense today. So a quick three and out by the defense. Started the drive off with a penalty, and they never really could get going. So throw goes out, and that is Calvin Edwards. I said Calvin Edwards. That's Cole Stewart with the catch. I told y'all, they're going to get mixed up all season. They've got similar body types. They play similar. They got similar speed. It's gonna be. It's gonna be what it is. First to ten. Throw goes out. There is Calvin Edwards this time for the first. Still not much D'Angelo still, but it seems like everybody else is open. Drop back. Four man pressure. Blitz will get there. I was. I don't know if that's a sack or a fumble, but they're gonna give a sack to Ship as he basically bull rushed his way past Cam Maddox to get to the quarterback. And. No Tom Flat. Another four-man pressure. Alvin Kamara out of the backfield this time. Getting some about a gain of five to make it a third and manageable. Now we just need 10 yards. Nah. I mean, we're in field goal territory, so I don't really want to go for it on fourth, probably, unless we just get really close. Throw goes out. Calvin Edwards gets us really close. I say go for it. What will the CPU do? New Orleans, what y'all got for me? Ah, y'all scared. After we go ahead and get that field goal, now it's just up by full score. 
weren't able to fully take control of that three and out, but looks like we're able to go to, oh, T. Higgins with the 25-yard catch. I was about to say, looks like we're about to have him on another one. But offense seems to be moving. Another T. Higgins catch. Eight-yard rush by Joe Burrow and a 14-yard touchdown pass to Joe Mixon as they tie this game right back up. Now we've got to an answer. We can't. That's why I'm saying we can't have touch or field goals. Cincinnati still is a good offense. Up oh, screen pass to go ahead and get things started. And he didn't have anywhere to go. Stewart read that like a book. Got off his uh, the blocking assignment and was able to go over there and make a play. That's exactly what you want from your D line on the screen. Blitz coming in and when there's a blitz, somebody's open. Empty for New Orleans. How do we get this ball down the field? It'll be another quick pass. This time it didn't work so well. Might want to just leave that to Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara because Calvin Edwards stumbled over the pick play there. So second and 10. There we go. Quick throw. Goes out over. D'Angelo still over the middle of the field. We finally see him make a big play. They left the seams wide open. And that is only probably like his second catch of the game. Got about 119 yards left or three touchdowns, whichever is easier. Play fake, Alvin Kamara, only a four-man pressure. Nobody getting there, and he finds the Angelo Steel to dump it off without taking a sack. I like it. We'll take plays like that. Instead of getting a sack, just dump it into the flat. Bars. So second and six, right at the two-minute warning. That is a great pass to Calvin Edwards, wide open. A blitz looked like it came in, and we were able to go ahead and get around it. Fresh out of the two-minute warning. We're close to the red zone, so another chance to get a touchdown, hopefully. Josh Garland dropping back. Blitz is coming in. Gets it out quick to Calvin Cole Stewart. One of these days, I'm going to get right. If it were up to me, Calvin Edwards got like 10 catches right now. Throw out to Alvin Kamara for the catch, and he will just barely be short of the first down marker. Ship getting another injury to him as he gets up and walks off the field. Thank, thank goodness that is fixed in 9-23. They'll actually be hurt and go somewhere. Hand off Alvin Kamara once again with a great catch. Breaks a tackle and stumbles forward at the three-yard line. We are under 90 seconds to go with the chance to get a touchdown right before half. First and goal. New Orleans will go shotgun. Three-by-one look. Goes to the settle down. D'Angelo Steele and not much room to work. Touchdown by us, I believe. Where it's under a minute to go. Throw goes out to D'Angelo Steele. There's touchdown number uno. Well, you gave birth to the football. And with that being said, man, we come out of the half up 17 to 10. A chance to extend the lead even farther. Let's go ahead and hand this rock off. Alvin Kamara. Ah, still nothing to do. Stop going outside, man. Let's go up the middle. We've seen way more success up the middle. I mean, other than his one run that was basically like 10 yards, uh, he's not hes not doing very good at all. <laughs> Handoff again. Eight rushes, 23 yards. is not a very good game. We've also only tried to run the ball nine times, though. The other run went to Lamar Carlos for that touchdown. So we've been passing the ball quite a bit for our supposed-to-be run-focused offense approach. As that's Cole Stewart again with another first down catch. I want to see more D'Angelo still. Up there at the top of the screen, down in the stance. First and 10, I form, handoff up the middle this time, and there goes Alvin Kamara. There you go, up the middle. That's where he's going to get his yards. Four a pop, five a pop, we're cool with. Second and six, after the good run play from Alvin Kamara, though. Handoff once again up the middle, breaks one tackle, reaches four for the first down, and gets his tire side of the field. Low and methodical, work up this field. We don't got to get it all in one play, unless it's to D'Angelo Steele. Play fake here. Four-man pressure. No pocket getting in. Somebody getting through. And is that Trey Hendrickson? Getting there with the sack. Wish he had stayed with the Saints, but it is what it is. I mean, you do a play fake, but two of the three routes do stops. Second and 24 here. Little handoff. Alvin Kamara on the jet sweep, and that did not go anywhere. Now we got a third and 20. After the huge sack taken on first down, not much getting on second. And it's a little dump off out into the flats. Not much room to work either. I would have liked a more downfield approach, but I guess we'll put it back. Another three and out. They're trying to get something going. Couldn't get past midfield. Uh, so we will take over at the nine after a pretty good punt from Cincinnati. Little draw play here to Alvin Kamara. Still nowhere to go. I don't know if it's the offensive line that's not blocking well, but for one of the teams that's supposed to be terrible in run defense, 
It sure looked the exact opposite. Like, they pass defense is the worst thing. Blitz coming in this time. That's a wide open receiver. Cole Stewart getting the catch for a huge game to give us some breathing room at the 27. Let's work offense. First and 10. Josh Garland dropping back. All day to throw, and I think that's D'Angelo Steele finally getting his third catch of the game. We're still, like, over 100 yards away from that goal. Okay. We 99. We, we almost there. 99 more yards. <laughs> throw out. There's D'Angelo Steele once again, though. I mean, if we're going to go on a on a pass-catch frenzy, I'm cool with it. Trips to the top of the screen. Michael Thomas by himself at the bottom. Hand off Alvin Kamara up the middle. Still nowhere to go. It's got to be the blocking. It can't be Alvin Kamara. Like, I don't think so. Look at that. It, yeah, it can't be Alvin Kamara. Look at that juke move. Broke that man's ankles to the outside. Getting up to the 37. Finally, when the blocks hold up and he's able to get to the second level. Dang, a complete molly whopping down the Patriots. Destroyed the Jets 38 3. Drop back Garland. Four man pressure. Blitz almost getting to him. And that is a catch by. Calvin Edwards, Cam Maddox going down with the injury again. Don't tell me this man injury prone and I ain't know about it. Trey Stewart back into the ball game. I don't know what that'll do for the run game. Hand off here, Alvin Kamara. It looks like we're not going to hurt from it too bad. That is a very good seven-yard run there by him. Into the gap that Trey Stewart was in too. Left a wide open lane for him. First and 10 in the red zone. Coming to the close of the third quarter. Throw it out to Michael Thomas. Great catch and extension for the first down. Let's go ahead and get this fourth quarter popping. 17 to 10 here against Cincinnati. We're 10 yards away from Pater. Throw goes out. Michael Thomas wide open over the middle. Getting us about halfway there. Everybody on the goal line. Michael Thomas in X Factor mode. Drop back. Throw to the back corner. That's Michael Thomas, baby. First receiving touchdown of the game. Let them arms flop, my boy. Because it's time to take a school score leading to the fourth. Let's actually get up here in the booth, man. Hopefully the game gets a little bit closer. 14-yard pass to T. Higgins to start off with. Uh, but we got a two-score lead heading into the fourth. 15-yard pass by Jamar Chase, and they're on their side of the field. For the first time since they scored that opening touchdown. 28-yard pass to Jamar Chase to get this back to a one-score game. So with eight minutes left, let's go ahead and hop into the game after this kickoff real quick and see if we can go ahead and waste some time and get out there with the dub yet. Michael Thomas still in his X-Factor mode. Maybe try to find him on something. There it is, an out route. He came back to the ball. Maybe didn't need to attack it so aggressively as we only are able to get two because of it. And now just like that, we've got a third and eight. Drop back, throw goes out. That is still not enough for the first. Terrible pass decisions, and now we got to punt it right back. And now that the game is back close, let's go ahead and watch a little bit of defense. We haven't seen much since the first drive. Can Joe Burrow lead this Bengals team up the field? Drop back. Throw goes out to Mixon in the flats, and that's great coverage. Jamar Johnson coming up and making the tackle before they're able to get too far up the field. So now second and four. They'll go empty. Throw will go out quick, and that is almost a yik. If the throw goes quick, it's going to be a yik. Just remember that, and you'll always be all right. Third and four. Joe Burrow drop back. Saints defense looking to make a final stop to the running back. Great way to knock him back forward. And there goes Kregi Holt tackling him in front of the line of scrimmage. Or not line of scrimmage, but the first down mark. We had him bump back. Could have tackled him for the loss. Kregi Holt doing a little too much there. Drop back. Three-man pressure this time. Tight end gets wide open. Paulson Adebo making the tackle. Come on, you can't fall behind a tight end. I understand they're crossing phase and you're bumping around, but tight end shouldn't get that much separation. At midfield, still no pressure coming in. Mixing with the catch. Let's get him down. There you go, Dobson. Somebody ready to play is Montgomery. will go down with an injury. That will possibly bring in Denzel Dalton in the base formation, but Nickel, we should still be okay. Second and five. Three-man pressure here. Going out to the flats once again. That's Marshawn Lattimore on Jamar Chase. I think he reached forward for the first down. He did. So 37 yards away. They're driving. Calling hurry up. It's only about four minutes left to go. Burrow all day to throw. Jamar Chase is open once again. We are getting zero pressure. I don't know what's up with our defensive line recently. Nobody's getting in the backfield. 
There he goes. A screen pass, and we're able to disrupt it. That's a fumble. Uh, he'll pick it up for extra yards. I think we probably would have rather it been an uh, incomplete pass. I think he probably passed that thing forward, but if we had picked it up, I'd have been saying a different story. In the red zone now. Receiver motion. Fake the handoff there. Mixon. Ah, we almost had him in the backfield. Just went up the different gap. Great vision by Mixon because Dobson was coming. This game is getting tight. 24-17. I'm getting nervous. Hopefully the defense ain't nervous. Another motion play here. Hand it off to the receiver this time. And yeah, no. Nowhere to go. Great job by Peyton Turner to get that locked up. They're six yards away. They'll probably hike it before the two-minute warning, I'd imagine. Hand off. Mixing again up the middle. And there it is. Stop it up. Jamar Johnson coming in to make the tackle. Marcus Williams as well. And now they're going empty. We're obviously not gonna get pressure, so just stop the quick passes. Third and goal. Everybody's covered. Somebody get there, somebody get there, somebody get there. Yes, sir. Cedric Blackburn getting in the backfield for the sack. Fourth and 14. Throw will go out to the end zone. Are you serious? On four Saints defenders? Four of y'all? And you give that up? Let's try to win this game. That is the most amazing catch of the year, bro. One-handed catch on four defenders with C.J. Gardner-Johnson going through the receiver. I don't know what to do, bro. I might bring back, and y'all let me know if you guys want to see it, uh, how I did in Madden 21, where I actually played some of the games as well. We played, watched, and simulated through the game. So let me know if you guys want to bring that back. Comment it down below if you guys would like to see me back on the sticks, and I can do that uh, to make the series a little bit different than others. Or if y'all enjoyed just watching it, we can keep doing that. Play fake after the great catch. That's downfield. And... Can't trust the rookie to make a play like that. Cole Stewart should have been the read. He was wide open. Second and 10 now. Throw go out. Alvin Kamara with the catch on the wheel. Breaks the tackle and finally gets taken down at the 43. Now we do only need three to win this game. So third and one at the 43. We're not in field goal range yet. If this is a run, I don't know if I like it. Fullback dive. Okay. I'm not really sure where a fullback dive came from, but Saunders, good job. You're kind of slow, but we'll take it. 40 seconds left to go. We're at the 39-yard line. Just no turnovers. Hand off Alvin Kamara. Big run up the middle. That's field goal range. It's got to be from the 30, and I think that'll probably be Cincinnati calling their timeouts. Oh, receiver motion. We'll play fake to him and throw up our own receiver play fake because Alvin Kamara gets enough for the first, and that's timeout number two. They don't include that, okay? Cut that out, now. And here we go. 30 seconds left. First and 10 at the 28. It looks like we might be passing. Bunch at the top. Nope, it'll be a handoff, Alvin Kamara. There we go. Get that last timeout. We used a timeout? That is so confusing. Why would we use a timeout? All we got to do is kick the field goal. We'll be all right, y'all. Why are we using timeouts? It's situations like these where I say, should I go in and play? So that don't happen. There's no reason... New Orleans would call a timeout right here. No reason any team would. With ball, close to kicking a field goal. Let the other team call their timeouts as we go ahead and get enough for the first. There we go. Uh, are we going to call our timeout? Seven seconds left. We were able to get them out there in time. Let's kick this field goal. Three, two, one. Let's get out of here with a dub ski, baby. 27-24. It was stressful, but like the audience is saying, And there it is, man, a great 27-24 victory. Uh, Garland, I think, had a pretty good game. 290, no turnovers from him. Burrow was magnificent in the pocket. We just had no pressure. Uh, he was had a clean pocket all day, not really even getting any sacks in there. Uh, Alvin Kamara picked his day up as the day went on. Steel only 83 and a touchdown, so not going to be enough to go ahead and do it here. Uh, it sucks. I think he should be superstar, but... You know, we had a great game from all the other supporting cast members as well. Stewart, Edwards, Thomas, a lot of people spread the ball around too. And then on defense, well, we actually did end up getting sacks. Rich Hope from Cedric Blackburn, probably more so a simulation. Uh, but as far as when we watched, there was no pressure to be heard of. But we came out with the dub, so it's going to keep the season rolling. We are now 4-2. and two. 
I know we expect to win a game. Well, you say everyone's a threat in this league. Somebody has to lose better than us. 1,000 points for XP for the whole team. Because we were facing a cold opponent. Uh, they weren't cold. At Maybe it's why they were playing so good and great. Uh, it was because it was a cold opponent. Uh, they needed to uncoach the spots, whatever. Uh, we already knew that was coming. Uh, but next week up, we got Tampa Bay, who they're three and two. We'll see what they are after this week. Uh, but as long as they win, yeah, they're four and two. So this game might be good. So we'll probably jump into this one and see what things are like in the fourth and see if it's interesting to watch. And we are into the game. Let's see if it gets interesting into the fourth and see if it's something we can hop into. As already, you see Tampa Bay jumping up to an early 14 to seven lead. We're able to come right back with 14 on the answer of our own. It's looking like a pretty tight game. I'm not gonna lie to you. 14, 14, let's go one more quarter and get into the fourth. Come on now, there you go, tie the game back up. There we go, it's, all, it's a tight game. All right, well, let's watch this fourth quarter. It looks like we're starting with us on offense, 10 minutes to go, game tied, 21-21. Here we go, handoff, Alvin Kamara. Let's see if the run game's getting any better today. Okay, solid run at the middle, two touchdowns already, 80 yards, I'm not mad at it. Looks like we're running the ball just a little bit better. better. We only allowed 146 yards passing. Oh, we shut them down too. Oh, not on pass game, though. Drop back, throw goes out to the flash. That's Calvin Edwards. On his second catch of the game after we just saw him go off for six last week. Drop back, throw goes out. That's Michael Thomas with the catch. Stiff arming one and then almost breaks Devontae Davis' tackle. But he's able to get taken down. Let's go. Let's take. Let's eat up some of this time and score. I like it. We're already down to nine minutes, almost at eight. And he throws a terrible pass. Josh Carlin threw that right to David White, man. And... Oh my gosh. Ball was nowhere near where it was supposed to go. No pressure was in his face, so I can't explain that one. Now Tampa Bay's got the ball right back. It's going to be up to the defense to get a stop again. We can see it's already going to be a fight between us and Tampa to take the division. Jordan Love has led this team magnificently. Oh, good knockdown by Sean Dobson. And I'm saying, real life, Tampa Bay, when Tom Brady retired, y'all might want to look at this. Man, you obviously ain't starting over Aaron Rodgers. Drop back, throw goes out. It's tip. Come on, pick. Oh, he was right there. Just reach your hands out. At least we was able to stop him, though. We're getting the ball back. Oh, no, they're going to go for three. We might be getting this ball back at like the 50. Yeah, 58 yard attempt. Fourth and eight. He kicks it. It's up. That is way short. Not even close. Give me something, New Orleans. Make me proud, guys. Trips to the bottom of the screen. Drop back. All day to throw. Throws out to the side. That's Michael Thomas not getting his feet in. No sideline awareness there. Oop, my bad. No sideline awareness. And he just was not ready to get the feet down. So now we still got third and 10. That could have been a first down. Drop back. Screen pass goes out. Blocks look like they almost get set up. Neither team is moving this ball. Come on, defense. One more stop for me, please. I'm feeling it. This next stop will be the one. Drop back, all day to throw, throws it out. Oh, good tackle, make him go backwards. Sean Dobson comes in and delivers the final bro. CJ Gardner and Johnson getting there, knocking him back. And now it's a loss of one. 10 tackles on the day for Sean Dobson. He's been all over the field. Four man pressure, throw goes out quick to the tight end by Jordan Love. Not much room though. Third and six, the drop back. Blitz coming out, throw goes out. We're able to oh, knock him back. There you go, Marcus Williams. Marshawn Lattimore knock back. It's a good tackle system. Knock them back, make them lose yards, and then tackle them for real. Not a very good punt. Starting at about midfield. Three wins it. We just got to knock out six minutes of time, too. They're bringing four. Nowhere to go. Throw will go out to the sidelines. Just barely able to get it away. Second and ten. Pressure's coming. Throw goes out over the middle. Great catch from Michael Thomas. Way to hold on, my boy. Six for 72 today, and it's all off that screen. Able to catch that and get down. First and 10, we're in field goal range, kind of. But I feel better getting a little bit closer. I have a Kamara with a great run up the middle. I love it. I'm fine. I'm cool with a touchdown. Let's go score one. I'm fine with it. 91 yards here today. He's got two of the th three touchdowns. I'm cool if he gets three of the four. Run out this clock, and let's go up seven. Drop back, easy. D'Angelo still wide open in the drag, breaking. Or at least dragging the defender away to the first down. 
Oh no, second and one. Didn't reach out for it. 19 yards in the red zone. Handoff again, Alvin Kamara. Great running lanes going forward. He stays on his feet and gets trampled up. We went half pads in practice this week, so you see he's not as tired. As after a big run, as that is a great catch out. Is that Cole Stewart? Yes, it is for the catch at the five yard line. Five yards for pay dirt, four yards from another first. Handoff, Alvin Kamara getting there before his offensive line, and that's three on the day. Chalk it up to a hat trick, and we take this lead. And now, the most important stop of the day, defense. We stopped the one time we win. Two minutes left to go in the game. Throw going over the middle. Oh, he tried for the interception. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at going for the pit there. But, Dan, you got to get it. That's a 15,000 career. That had to be for the quarterback. Ain't no way my game has got 15,000 career uh, receiving yards. Drop back, throw goes out, and that's another. He's getting close. He's playing with fire. First Darnay Holmes, then Jameer Johnson, almost ending the game. Drop back, four-man pressure for love. Throw goes out, and then Sean Dobson, you missed once. You missed twice. And that's how y'all if y'all missed three times as game. Sean Dobson's the GOAT. Give it to him. Y'all still fighting? <music> now it's in this game, man. <laughs> Two minute warning coming up. We got one more play before it. Chargers take down the Chiefs down below. Ooh, that's pretty good. Good run lane up the middle. Taking us into the two minute warning. Good job, Alvin. And now it's all about evening them timeouts. If you're them, you probably give up the first so that we can use all three of them. Unless you plan on stopping us right now. Yes, sir. Give me that first. Bad timeout management. And here it is. Pretty much game on the line. No more timeouts left for them. 31. If we get the first, that should ultimately seal it. Alvin Kamara seals the game. We beat Tampa. I think that's the season. Sweet 2-2-0 two, two on them. 130 yards on the day. A much better performance from him. And we're able to get out of here not only with the lead, but the lead in the division. And there it is, man. We're able to get the dub here. 195 and a touchdown for Josh Garland. Two picks. But end up being Jordan Love throwing the costly interception to go ahead and end things behind a great running game from Alvin Kamara. That we're able to go ahead and see a victory here and our third straight win as well on our way to go ahead and trying to defend the Super Bowl championship. Two and a half sacks for Marcus Davenport, one for Christian Barrymore, and a half for Cedric Blackburn. So we were all over the quarterback today. Like I said, two great interceptions here to go ahead and seal things. And here we go. We got another breakout player chance. This time it's Reggie Holt, it looks like, uh, on defense. Two interceptions, force fumble, tackle for sacked. sack. Uh, we won't get into that one. We've already seen a player chance game today, as well as Carolina just not being that good. Uh, so we'll see in the box score if he's able to go ahead and pick that up. We got our scouting national focus here. So I'll handle all this stuff, and I'll basically see you guys at the box score. What position are we going to? I think we're covered at receiver. Where, I mean, obviously, you know, receiver is the strength of this class. I'm a, I think I'm gonna have you go look at defensive tackle, though, honestly. And there it is, man. We were able to go ahead and get the victory here against Carolina, 35 to 24. Great game, 474 yards of offense. That's great. 319, two sacks for Josh Garland. We held Garner Minshew, even though he had three touchdowns. We got two picks, another 130 yards for AK, another three touchdowns for him. Cole Stewart for about 120. Michael Thomas, 81. Whatever it's get, 31. I'll take that, but DBs. Who allowed this? Who allowed that mistake to happen? <laughs> because I do not need any more of those. But now we got a goal to go ahead and check out. So any tackles? For, oh, Reggie Hope got two tackles for loss. He didn't get any sacks, but I don't think he needed to. With the two tackles for loss, that should be enough to go ahead and get him upgraded into the next level status. Shout out Williams and Dobson, but let's go see if he got his boost. I called it, didn't I? Reggie Hope played a heck of a game this week. Thought he'd be better initially. So now Reggie Hope is superstar dev. After getting the two tackles for loss, so that's going to be great. 2,000 XP boost for him as well. That's great. I got to go ahead and check too as well. Let's go to the adjust lineup screen really quick. We did have two hidden development players. Are they close to finding out theirs? Calvin Edwards, about a, probably one more game away. He's only 99 plays away from his. And then Jabari Ogletree is about... You know, probably won't find out until the end of the season. But Reggie Holt, look at that. Superstar dev does have an upgrade to go ahead and get to... Um, where is his stats right now? 87 finesse moves, 80 block shed, 71 power. So let's work on a finesse. We have a power rusher on one side and then a finesse rusher on the other side. So I mean, that's great. And let's look at his abilities. What abilities they give him? No finesse moves. That's crazy. Uh, run committed. 
will dominate when run blocks. When correctly used, guess play adjustment to predict a run. Incorrect guesses will result in a loss. And then edge threat. Use faster dominant pass rushes. Okay, let me see if there's anything else that would be better suited to him real quick. I think this one's better. You know, he's getting tackles for losses and stuff. I think under pressure would be better suited to his skill set. Under pressure and edge threat will be his two uh, superstar abilities. And here it is, a overtime victory against the really good Chicago Bears team. 33-27 here. Uh, we played really good offensively. So you see four touchdowns there and maybe an injury there to Justin Fields to let Will Geyer have to come in and do a little bit. But uh, we were able to get to Justin Fields three times and produce very well on offense. So if we're able to do that, we will prevail on top, even if it does take overtime to go in and get some of these victories. Uh, and sack, another sack coming from Reggie Holt and then Cedric Blackburn as well. Has from Devonport and Jameer Johnson. And when you got a five game win streak, it's bound to end eventually in the NFL, man. We lost 42 to 28. So, I mean, it sucks that we lost that bad to this team. We just held them in check. Another great game for Garland, except for the picks. And I got to think that's probably what did it. Even with watching CMC, he was still, still able to get off. So I told y'all, whoever guarded this dude <laughs> need a coverage upgrade. I don't know who can't stop DJ Moore, but they also couldn't stop Calvin Edwards as well. It just it goes to show picks and interceptions really can ruin the game for you. Three sacks here for Marty Davenport by himself. Reggie Hole had one as well, uh, but we got to bounce back. We can't have games like that, and we can't expect to win Super Bowls when we're going to lose games like that the teams that are last in the division now. Atlanta has tied us at 73 and 73. We'll get through one more week. We'll call it a video, though, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll play Atlanta. I got to find out. Go to the box school. Oh, guys, before we get into the game, I wasn't going to say anything until afterwards, but it looks like we did learn his up development. He's superstar development already. Uh, he's got two ability slots here, so second win. Players with this ability have a chance to regain the standard once per play when halfway to I don't think that's really worthy of a receiver. Um, him being a deep receiver probably do. You know, I see him being a big body down the field, run off a lead for longer with their runoffs, energizer, return man, use a return. I don't see him being very evasive. Route apprentice, jukebox, matchup nightmare, sharper cuts and free tested linebackers and linemen. He's never going to be on the inside to do that. I say probably the deep end elite then. Would probably be more of his style than the second one. I uh, see so he's got to be at an 85 overall to, or 80 slot for this. 85, 85, 85. Basically, at 85 overall, he'll be able to unlock his second ability trait. That's how you answer back. Put up 42 on a struggling Steelers team instead. If you can't take care of the struggling Panthers, go ahead and put it up on somebody else. 325 and four touchdowns for Garland. We're able to sack Joe Taylor two times uh, and then held Najee Harris to under 100 yards. So that's what we, it obviously takes to win. Get to the QB or get interceptions and hold their running backs to under 100. Michael Thomas here over 102, two touchdowns on the day. Edwards, after finding out his development, five for 77, definitely playing like a superstar. And I love how we're spreading the ball out. We got to go check out the stats and see, honestly, where everybody's at. Because we really have been spreading. One game, Michael Thomas leads. One game, Calvin Edwards leads. One game, Cole Stewart leads. And we go on the season, 3,460 yards for Josh Garland, 31 and 9. It's got to be career high totals. Like, this has got to be like a very career year for him, honestly. Uh, as far as can I see yardage per game? Yards per game is the most it's ever been, so we can see a career high in yards. Yards per attempt is as high as it's normally is. Completion percentage is higher than uh, it's ever been. Nine interceptions is way lower. 31 touchdowns is almost up on his career high of 36. So, as well as the best QB rating he's ever put up. This is definitely looking like a career year for Josh Garland. Alvin Kamara is almost at 1,000. He's only 15 away with 12 touchdowns. And then receiving 885 for Michael Thomas, 10 touchdowns. Cole Stewart's at 883, nine touchdowns. We can see two receivers hit 1,000. The Angel Steel's at 592 and seven. And then Calvin Edwards is a rookie, 524 too. So I can see 2,000 yard receivers probably capping out at about 800. And then he'll probably cap out maybe around seven, upper 70. So 750 to 825 ish range. Uh, not been passing much Alvin Kamara and obviously anybody else after that. But. We could actually definitely see two receivers crack a thousand. As far as league leaders, there's still two. There's two receivers that already have hit a thousand. Uh, Michael Thomas and Cole Stewart right there, third and fourth in the league, and then ten touchdowns got to be up there as well. Oh, on average, ten touchdowns got to be up there. Up tied for second rushing. I don't expect ninety-five. Hmm, it's number four. I was gonna say I don't expect ninety-five to be that high. Twelve touchdowns. That might be a leader. 
He actually is tied with Chris, CMC for the league on that. And then Josh Garland is leading the league in passing yards. About 110 over Jordan uh, Love. 31 touchdowns, 9 interceptions is pretty low. 31 touchdowns looks like it might be the most in the league. Yes, baby. We love to see it. Not only that, but Atlanta is 8-3. and three. And not only do we have to face a very tough opponent that could very well decide the division, it's on a short week. We got Thursday night football here in the Superdome. We're both 8-3. and three. We got to shut down Atlanta. So what better way than to go in and watch that game, my boys? So I will catch you guys in the next video, man. It's been your boy, SGG. We will come back playing Atlanta, getting through the bye week, and probably get through the uh, big chunk of this end of the season. I mean, we got Detroit and Dallas after the bye week. And as far as standings go, Dallas is 6-4. and four. Detroit is 6-4 and four as well. Uh, we're well on our way to fighting for one of the top seeds in the NFC. So I'm not too worried about them. We'll see how the season breaks down, where the playoff picture looks, because I think we should be getting that in week 13, week 14. And we'll see what we're going to watch for the end of the season. So catch you guys in the next video, man. It's me, your boy, Shut to Smooth, AK Black Okage, Black Elf and King Leo. We'll finish it off. This is the last video on Strong Too Smooth. I told y'all, episode 50 and beyond, SGG. Make sure y'all head over there and subscribe, like, and comment. I can get y'all in the next video, all right? I'm gone. Peace.